Greetings and welcome to Irk Song's music production lessons. I'm Irk. Today I'm going to record a guitar solo and show you what I find are the seven most important music production tricks. I'm going to teach you about panning, punching in, crossfading, attention to detail, consistency, processing, and mixing out. So here's a basic breakdown of a typical Irk song in terms of how I pan the instruments. You'll find this is pretty standard uh, or variations thereof. You just don't want everything to be boring and mono. Mix it up a little. Don't be too extreme. Sometimes a fun trick is to put, say, the vocals all the way hard right but then to put some vocals, the same vocal track, that have been affected, even seriously, but with low volumes, hard left. You'll hear this on Sgt. Pepper. Just a basic chord progression. Uh, here I'll play it a little bit. So, pretty random, whatever, and then I just recorded the guitar solo, and right in this area, there is a little fudge, a mistake on the guitar, so we're going to use this opportunity to do a punch in, so we're going to listen back and get our scissors and isolate where the mistake is. That's the mistake. So the mistake is right in here. I'm going to cut on either side of it, giving myself a little room. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Now I'm going to get my mute tool and mute that selection. I'm going to arm another track. And I'm going to record starting a little bit before and I'm gonna play a little bit after the mistake and then I'm gonna this is gonna be the punching in and then I will show you crossfading okay so I've punched in and now we're going to crossfade this punch in into the original guitar track uh, I'm gonna just get rid of the mistake part which we can delete because we don't need the mistake part anymore. I'm going to make the new part just barely overlap. I'm going to take off my snap to feature and make these just barely overlap on either side. Um, that's pretty good. And then I am going to bring it up. I'm actually going to put the Snap 2 feature back on. And this way it will ensure that it'll, it's still in the same tempo when I move it back up. Now I'll trim the end a little bit more. And at least on Cubase and Nuendo, you can crossfade simply by highlighting the tracks you want to crossfade and then hitting the X button. Bam, I just hit the X button and now I've got a crossfade. You can also go into your menus and find crossfade, but I'm all about cheat keys. Then you want to solo the track and listen back. You want to make sure what you did actually sounds good before you mix up. So I can kind of hear both guitars, so I'm going to change the size of the crossfade and kind of where it starts. Listen again. That sounds pretty good. The 
so I still have to cross fade the end highlight and press X listen back alright sounds good unsolo it Perfect, we got it.